Hello my friends, welcome to uh, my channel and today we're gonna go back to uh, taking a look at raspberries. Laura I planted them in these chimney stacks. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can contain them inside the, the chimney stack and uh, have them grow well without spreading their roots everywhere. I know they're somewhat of a shallow root but you know digging these up. I dug one up right here. So this is my uh, mainly Organic, well, it's warm in there. Organic uh, soil. It's at least 50% uh, horse manure, wood chips, and then any other type of uh, yard waste. So it's very, you know, it's a very rich soil here, and drains well too. It doesn't, it doesn't puddle up. So the when I was digging these up, the roots were going pretty deep. I mean. Probably to the base of that stack, which is 24 inches, but it's sticking out about six. So, there's the other root. Well, they look like they're pretty healthy. There's another one. Uh, broke here. But, anyway. Yeah, they, they go down pretty far. They were still, these are broken off, but they were going down pretty far. So they look like they're good, doing not bad. Uh, I guess it could be better, but they're not doing too bad in there. So, you know, I have these plants right here and that one. I mean, it's probably six feet tall right here. And it's going good. It grew last year. It's got a lot of new shoots coming up. There's a lot of new shoots growing out. They're doing fine. Uh, I'm, I bought some I bought some new plants and they're in pots here you know kind of confined to their root size here and but they're doing good so I'm gonna try to plant some and then I'm going to also I'm going to also raise up raise up the soil a little higher just to uh, get the roots to warm up faster maybe that'll help as well and that way the I mean the main roots can go down wherever the moisture is if there's not enough on top and give it a try that way but it looks like most of them are doing okay some of them didn't make it maybe due to the fact that they were pretty large and planted into the container with minimal roots and I actually redid all this probably the same the same time last year not last year but I think a year before um, and a lot of these were already kind of opened up when they messed with the root, so I should have cut them down, you know, to a couple buds. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. I'm trying to see if I can get them to grow well in there, and I'm going to pot these into an open, you know, or empty, empty chimney stack, and see how they do. These I'm going to replant back in there. I just wanted to see how the roots are doing, so they're doing okay. I see, and I'll uh, get back to you in just a minute. Okay, all right, so I got this uh, raspberry plant right here, the one that I dug up from here. I'm going to set it so I'm like a couple inches below the top of this uh, rim. I'm going to backfill it with some of this compost, topsoil. And get get it all in between the roots. So I'm gonna do another one before I bury the whole thing. There's two more actually. One smaller one. And this this one here. I'm trying to set him in as free as I can. This guy I can put down a little bit later. Let the dirt settle around it. I don't want to just squish it in, let it be somewhat fluffy. I'll put 
let this guy in. This way, they can find their best place wherever they need to be. where the roots will be somewhat aerated just in case they were too low. If you get heavy soils that kind of don't breathe, sometimes the plants don't like that. I'm trying to get the soil to get around the, the roots. And I'm gonna water it in. Some water right here. Soaking the, the plants earlier. This way, this will all settle in right now. See how it's getting all around the, the roots, but I don't have to squish it. It'll feel a lot better this way. Okay, let all this settle and I'll actually go down on its own. Okay. Come back to uh, the other replanting of these uh, store-bought potted plants. This is a uh, heritage, heritage variety, and this one is a uh, can be. So. They're two different varieties and they're both doing good in the pot. And we'll plant them in one of the empty uh, one of the empty spaces there. And actually there's empty space right here. Maybe we can just do that. Let's see how we can do this. Let's take some of the soil out. It's worms in there, so organics there so I take this out to the depth of those pots okay. loosen up the soil dig it up a little bit so I think that's good depth so a little bit here Take okay. does have really good roots here. Uh, going to actually pull off these sticks. Cut this rubber band. Cut this rubber band. Not easy to cut them bands. Take these sticks out. I'm gonna break up a little bit at the bottom root. This way will, will give them, stimulate a little growth and uh, have them grow in the directions they need to grow. Tangle the roots up a little bit.
side I'll land a little as well. So I'm gonna put this guy. Oh, this side of the these roots lay places. My idea is to keep them higher. I'm gonna see if the roots will grow lower there. Um, I'm actually going to plant just one of these for this for this area. One pot per per chimney stack. So I'll do this. And swing it back over. I'm gonna water it all in really good. these up a little bit. everything covered up really well water it let it settle come back and fill in in the other areas that need to be filled in so I put this little bucket of water into this one and still holding up a little bit just because the soil originally I mean it's been raining the soil is wet so it's already saturated uh, but to get everything around the roots this really helps then eventually it'll go away, it'll seep through the you know, clay, get out of there. There's no bottom to it, so it'll go down in there. So eventually, here in the, probably the next 10 minutes, it'll be all dry. It's already lowered down about an inch. As we're working here. So, let me go back. Should I have some rainwater in the barrel right here? up some Use your fingers to get everything settled up in there around the plant, up into the roots. We'll need to add more soil into here. While it's still wet, it's fine. So it settles in nice. Soil is, you know, very fluffy, so it'll aerate well. By this way, at least it'll settle really well around the roots. These are already growing. They're out of their dormancy. So I don't want to disturb the roots too much.
Okay. All right, well, that's, that's the, the way I'm going to uh, plant these plants, these raspberries, and uh, see how they do. I think they're going to be okay. We'll get it to be okay anyway. So, take care.